How Greenhouse Gas Removal Technologies Can Help Combat Climate Change Politica Climate change is a rapidly growing concern around the world and is causing devastating effects on the environment. The increase in greenhouse gas emissions has led to global warming, which is causing the ice caps to melt, sea levels to rise, and extreme weather patterns to occur. The burning of fossil fuels for energy, transportation, and industrial activities is the primary cause of greenhouse gas emissions. The need to take immediate action to combat climate change has never been more critical. One of the ways to address this issue is through the use of greenhouse gas removal technologies. Greenhouse gas removal technologies refer to a range of techniques that remove carbon dioxide, CO2, and other greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. These technologies are essential in mitigating the effects of climate change, as they can help reduce the amount of CO2 and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The following are some of the greenhouse gas removal technologies that can help combat climate change. Afforestation and reforestation. Afforestation and reforestation refer to the planting of trees in areas where there were previously no forests or where forests have been destroyed. Trees absorb CO2 from the atmosphere during photosynthesis, making them effective in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Afforestation and reforestation can also help to restore degraded ecosystems, provide habitat for wildlife, and improve soil quality. Carbon capture and storage. Carbon capture and storage CCS, is a technology that captures carbon dioxide CO2, emissions from industrial processes, such as power generation, and stores them in underground geological formations. CCS can prevent CO2 emissions from entering the atmosphere and contributing to global warming. It is an effective technology that can be used alongside other greenhouse gas removal technologies to reduce emissions. Direct Air Capture Direct Air Capture DAC, is a process that involves capturing CO2 from the atmosphere using chemical reactions or filters. DAC can remove CO2 directly from the air, making it an effective technology for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. It can be used in conjunction with other greenhouse gas removal technologies to achieve greater emission reductions. Ocean fertilization. Ocean fertilization is a process that involves adding nutrients to the ocean to stimulate the growth of phytoplankton, which absorbs CO2 from the atmosphere during photosynthesis. This fertilization can help reduce CO2 levels in the atmosphere and improve ocean health. However, it is a controversial technology due to concerns about its impact on marine ecosystems. Enhanced weathering. Enhanced weathering is a process that involves accelerating the natural process of weathering to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. It involves applying minerals, such as olivine, to land surfaces, where they react with CO2 to form stable compounds. Enhanced weathering can help reduce CO2 levels in the atmosphere and improve soil quality. These greenhouse gas removal technologies have the potential to help combat climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and removing CO2 from the atmosphere. However, it is important to note that these technologies are not a replacement for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. They should be used in conjunction with efforts to reduce emissions to achieve significant results. HTTPS colon slash slash youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals Tensajali 4A per cent 3 Fenabled Sapi per cent 3D1. Greenhouse gas removal technologies have a range of benefits that can help combat climate change. Reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gas removal technologies can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions by removing CO2 and other greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. This can help to slow down the rate of global warming and mitigate the effects of climate change. Restoration of ecosystems. Greenhouse gas removal technologies, such as afforestation and reforestation, can help restore degraded ecosystems and provide habitat for wildlife. This, in turn, can help to improve biodiversity and the health of the planet. Development of new industries. Greenhouse gas removal technologies can create new industries and job opportunities. For example, the development of CCS technology can create jobs in the construction and operation of CCS facilities. Improved air quality. Greenhouse gas removal technologies can help improve air quality by removing pollutants from the atmosphere. This can help reduce the number of respiratory illnesses and improve overall public health. Challenges and limitations of greenhouse gas removal technologies. While greenhouse gas removal technologies have the potential to help combat climate change, they also face a range of challenges and limitations. Some of these challenges include High cost Most greenhouse gas removal technologies are expensive to implement and operate. This makes it difficult for many countries and organizations to adopt them. Limited scalability Some greenhouse gas removal technologies, such as afforestation and reforestation, are limited in their scalability. It can be challenging to plant large numbers of trees in areas with limited space or resources. Technological limitations. Some greenhouse gas removal technologies, such as direct air capture, are still in the early stages of development. This means that there are technological limitations that need to be addressed before they can be fully implemented. Environmental concerns. 
Some greenhouse gas removal technologies, such as ocean fertilization, have raised concerns about their impact on the environment. It is essential to consider the potential environmental impacts of these technologies before implementing them. Case study, John's experience with direct air capture. John, a resident of California, had always been concerned about the impact of climate change on the environment. He was particularly worried about the rising levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. After doing some research, he came across direct air capture DAC, a technology that removes carbon dioxide directly from the air. John decided to install a DAC system in his home, which captures CO2 from the air and stores it underground. The system not only reduced the carbon footprint of his home but also helped him save money on electricity bills. He was able to reduce his electricity consumption by 30% by using renewable energy sources to power the DAC system. John's experience with DAC not only helped him reduce his carbon footprint but also made him an advocate for the technology. He shared his experience with his friends and family and encouraged them to adopt similar technologies. John's story is an example of how greenhouse gas removal technologies like DAC can be effective in combating climate change. With more people adopting these technologies, we can reduce the levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and help mitigate the impacts of climate change. Conclusion Greenhouse gas removal technologies have the potential to help combat climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and removing CO2 from the atmosphere. While they face a range of challenges and limitations, these technologies can be used alongside efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to achieve significant results. It is essential to continue investing in research and development to improve these technologies and make them more accessible to countries and organizations around the world. By taking action now, we can help to mitigate the effects of climate change and create a more sustainable future for generations to come. Questions and answers. What are greenhouse gas removal technologies? They are technologies designed to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. How do greenhouse gas removal technologies work? They work by capturing and storing carbon dioxide from industrial processes or the atmosphere. Who benefits from greenhouse gas removal technologies? Everyone benefits from these technologies as they help mitigate climate change. What is the objection to greenhouse gas removal technologies? Some people believe they are too expensive and not scalable. How can we overcome the objection to greenhouse gas removal technologies? By investing in research and development to make them more cost-effective and scalable. What are some examples of greenhouse gas removal technologies? Carbon capture and storage, afforestation, and direct air capture are some examples.